welcome back to the cleanest podcast on the internet. This is the Tub Club with my co-host Salvo Pancakes. Hello, Willie. Good to see you here. Uh, I'm glad that we can finally record this episode. It's been like months since my last shower and bath, and I was getting real stinky and real dirty. Good, good. Yeah, we haven't uh, we haven't showered since the last time, and then we are uh, welcomed here with the. With the swollest gamers since uh, Markiplier, Actman. Oh, I'm the clean man today. Uh, you're you're looking cute too today in your in your <laughs> nice little robe and towel. Thank so you. I appreciate I appreciate that, bro. We got the. There's kind of a lot that's been going on lately. Um, but if we, I kind of wanted to start off with like uh, the stuff kind of surrounding you, Actman, where you cut. We're in like a huge drama over the summer. You were at war with YouTube. Uh, it was kind of the biggest drama I've seen with just YouTube since, like, Leafy, and I think it was bigger than that. And then they took away your monetization, you kind of stayed low, and then the instant they gave it back, you dropped another video, which is, like, the biggest balls move I've ever seen. It's a huge <laughs> pair of nuts over on the Axeman show. Yeah, uh, jumping right into it. But uh, yeah, yeah. What was your was that scary? Like, what made you go like, "Fuck it, we're we're go suit back up, boys. We're going back in." Well, I had recorded like five videos prior to that. I I had been like sending them to people and being like, "What do you think of this?" And they'd be like, "No, that's trash. Don't upload it." And then I'd I'd say to myself, "Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna wait until I feel really really comfortable before I say anything because there's stuff I wanted to say." That's like, you know, I don't know what I was supposed to learn from this. That was a big thing, right? Because yeah. when you get punished, it's like it's meant to be a lesson, like that you did something wrong. And it's like... Dude, it, I'm so blackpilled when it comes to the fucking internet. I feel like when they go ahead and like YouTube punishes you, uh, it's never like, oh, here, learn your lesson. It's always just like, uh, this is this happened and too bad. Just fucking it just, it. It, like they, if, they don't explain anything. It just feels it's like collateral damage. Future. Like someone behind the scenes is just like firing wildly into the audience. Yeah, it feels like you like accidentally cut somebody off in traffic and then YouTube like just destroys your like wrecks your whole car, <laughs> slashes your tires, <laughs> hits it with a hammer. And then they're like, hold on. Let's just figure out what happened and then we can fix this. So the act man, how did you feel watching everybody make so much money off of your situation with YouTube while you couldn't make a cent from YouTube? <laughs> Actually, Dude, he couldn't make a cent and then his video was taken down. So he just And then like everybody's just like spamming out the videos, just like milking it uh, for everything that it's worth. I understand your frustration. Hey, dude, I... I got a few I bucks actually on didn't that too. think about that at all. Until now. I didn't think about the money that, yeah, until now, actually. Dude, now he's pissed, I was bro. just happy that people were talking about it, you know? Yeah, yeah. It was, um... I was happy that it was a thing, you know? I knew it was, it was a big fucking thing when all of the Twitch people suddenly give a shit about what's going on with YouTube. Yeah, I mean, know? it was a, the, the Dark Age of YouTube. That was a pretty good video. I, I think that was a pretty good video. Have you thought about re-uploading it and just like yes. maybe like making a couple tweaks? Yeah, I, I'll because I I'll need to go Quantum back. Quantum is still going around, dude. I don't know. Okay, not to go too deep into it, but someone sent me some like older messages from six years ago. Yeah, I know exactly. Oh, you what know you're where he's about. like, we need more killings. He straight up says of, we need of a certain group. Yeah, he straight up says we yeah. need more killings. Yeah, <laughs> that like, was from his um. Do, should I keep the secret? Because I did see this on Twitter. Oh, you don't have to. I don't. I don't really care about that anymore. It was from his next gen gamers channel. Yeah. And uh, like the channel he's reactivated, and all somebody found all of his old comments <laughs> on videos, <laughs> and they're just like going on about how he wants to kill the gays and like all this. Yeah, shit. he wants more like, mass shooting. It's just, yeah. But that's okay. That's okay. That's the that's. YouTube decided, you know. He has a right to his opinion. The, you see he deactivated one of his channels. I don't too. know what the statute of limitations is on comments, but it's just kind of like, we all know what type of person he is. That's that's really it. Yeah, so, yeah. We, there's no doubt that he's a, he's a, a smidge homophobic. <laughs> it's just a smidge. So the act you man, know? like, which YouTube... Impl- you can just call me <laughs> act okay, man. Okay, yes. No, no, keep doing the Ackman. So the Ackman, which YouTube employee specific uh, do you think should be burned alive at the stake? Um. Oh shit! Yeah, oh, let's, let's take it right back here. <laughs> let's let's personally identify someone that I. Um, do you think her name begins with an S? 
No. Okay. It ends and- with Ujiki? <laughs> no, I'm not walking that plank. <laughs> I'm not yeah, walking that yeah, plane. Yeah, Selva, I got to be honest here. I don't know if that could make it because he. we don't know how much hot water I know, he's still uh, yeah. Not, you know? not really uh, yeah. any. <laughs> Honestly, from what I heard, they were, uh, at the time, they were more concerned with, like, YouTube employee safety uh, than because they, they apparently don't really give a shit about copyright. I mean, in, in yeah, comparison no, they, to, like, yeah. what I was in trouble for, quotation marks, so I'm not really in so hot water did you anymore. Ever find out, like, so you have heard stuff behind the scenes. Is there any like details there that you can share? No, not really. God, <laughs> not so really. <laughs> this, shit, this shit on YouTube is so fucking lame. There's like nothing adult about it. Like we're supposed to be the man children over here. I mean, we're around I, doing dumb shit. I've been told things, but things I know I shouldn't share. Gotcha. So that was my second yeah. question. Okay, you have heard enough. things behind the scenes. So the no was to specific Willie's point that you can share, correct? I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, yes. The behind the scenes reasons are still terrible. Like they're still really bad because, like, I, like I said in the, the aftermath videos, like a five minute phone call would have solved everything. Hey, are you serious about, you know, doxing YouTube employees? And I would have said no. Gotcha. Learn with satire. So when your channel got like nuked, you know, and demonetized and videos removed, how much communication did you have with YouTube? Or was it more of just like those automated emails coming in? Uh, It was pretty much just me and my partner manager. Gotcha. And at the time, did your partner manager like... Was they able to give you like a reason or were they kind of like in the dark about it, too? I had I had met him a week prior. Mm-hmm. So we he, he, he got matched <laughs> up with so me. Fucking funny. Yeah, he got matched up with me. And then all of a sudden, like we're in hot water and we're both still trying to like meet each other. Dude, it's, and, this, it's this guy's first week <laughs> yeah, on the job. Yeah, That's first week awesome. with me. And it's like <laughs> Eggman pushed him up against his own boss, dude. <laughs> Yeah, no, so, but we got through it. It's kind of, it's kind of funny looking back on things with hindsight. Um, I mean, things could have gone differently, but I'm thankful well, for, you, for how things the, turned out. You in aren't the, the only man that's gone through that in this call. Actually, Salvo uh, has recently been demonetized. Now, to be fair. <laughs> I thought I heard about uh, that too. Salvo's a, l- a hair bit more edgy than uh, maybe you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. <laughs> but. But the the thing is, he doesn't have any com- like. What sucks is with for smaller creators, if they're doing something wrong, which I mean, I mean, for the people that watch his content, what he does is obviously satire and fun and comedy, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, like so plain as day, you know. And um, for you, t- he doesn't have even a manager to talk to when it comes to dealing with this shit. It's like he has nobody, he has no clue what what to do about this shit. It's just he was hit. With a bunch of with a bunch of flags, a bunch of your videos went down. So I'll explain yeah, how that went so, a little bit. Yeah, um, so I wake up one morning to about like twelve videos being removed and twelve community guidelines violations. Um, so I was like, "Oh shit!" Like, what? Yeah. So I was like, "Oh sh!" What? Twelve. Twelve. Twelve videos removed. Dude, Quantum wish, Quantum <laughs> wish he had that sort of attention. Oh, dude, dude. that would. Oh. So oh. one morning I wake up and I have twelve videos removed with twelve community guidelines violations. In a media, I go, "Oh shit, my channel's <laughs> my channel's so screwed." And then I log on to the YouTube yeah. studio and I have one strike. And I'm like, "Okay, that's kind of weird, you know." And then like I kind of ask around, "Is like, is this normal to have?" 12 violations but only one strike and i I was getting different responses you know uh based since monkey it kind of is it kind of is weird or kind of normal no it so monkey got hit with all three strikes at one time just three videos went down and then they just perma deleted right and since then i think like they you 24 hours is when they will issue the right so then at the time i'm like oh shit so like i wake up the next morning and like another three videos are removed right and and like two of them are youtube shorts and then like one's like a big live stream 
And but I don't get another community guideline strike. It's weird. I keep getting a whole bunch of warnings. Mm. And then the next day, my whole channel gets uh, removed from the partner program and then obviously demonetized. And then after that, no more strikes, no more uh, violations, probably because. Well, you went to you. Went I, I privated about 300 videos on my channel. So, yeah. you know. Yeah, because you don't know what's going to happen next. Yeah. Well, what what's kind of sucked with that is like he's a small channel. What, what do you got? Eight thousand subs, nine thousand, yeah, yeah, yeah. something like that. And uh, he's gone ahead and and he's kind of stirred the shit with like at the time with like Ethan Klein and his Teddy Fresh stealing yeah. merch, right? So overall, to me, not that serious of a story, just really fucking funny. Uh, but the, his Reddit on the H three Reddit, there's all these <laughs> posts telling people. There was a post telling everyone to go flag Sal's yeah. channel. So oh his boy. whole channel is just getting yeah. rinsed. By the and, H3 and they had Reddit. like two of my Twitters removed too. So they've been very successful. And the weird part is, right? It's like my chat. You did get your I Twitter did get my back, Twitters right? back. Uh, uh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, you know, thank God for Keemstar on that one. But when it comes down to it, is like I was always under the impression, okay, my channel is so small, I can slide under the radar and kind of get away with saying some crazy shit. But I thought you could too. I was I was like, no one's gonna find this, no one's gonna care, right? A couple thousand views yep. here and there. But I remember that feeling. Yeah. But then apparently somewhere someone got wind of it and I got some clarification. Apparently there was like a manual review done by YouTube. And then at that point, it's like, well, if you go into any one of my YouTube shorts or any one of my lies, uh, uh, live streams, you could probably find a few things to really get me. Um, yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'd start videos being like, fat piece of shit, Ethan Klein. Yeah. <laughs> like he's, like, yeah. <laughs> Greedy rat, Ethan it's Klein. It's fucking funny, yeah. but you can't do that. Dog. Right. So then after that, I'm like, oh, shit. But it seems like everything kind of slowed down. And I've been slowly uh, returning back to normalcy. You were like a time capsule for a minute where I was like, this guy's coming straight out of like 2009. <laughs> right. Into just the modern day. 2022. That's, that's a great opening to a video. Just like you fucking greedy ass. Literally. Rat. <laughs> this you, guy. Yeah, how do you not watch a video that starts that way? And he ta- he filmed the videos. He fil- before we started doing this, he filmed the videos taking a shower, but it would be like green screened out to what he's talking you about. Can, kind of. Dude, it was the funniest. And you can hear like the water shit. like hitting the fucking ground in the back. It, yeah. It, it, yeah, you sound oh, like yeah. a complete I, I, <laughs> like I look completely <laughs> insane, and it's like, I really get why Ethan Klein might have been, like, super afraid of me. Um, well, that was before I felt, like, people even knew, like, you were, like, who you were. So, like, uh, at the time, like, I, like, I was just seeing, like, uh, like all these videos, and, and, like, Nick would come to me, and he'd be like, yeah, this fucking guy is, like, claiming <laughs> he has my news, and it's going to leak him. I'm like, Yeah, what? so for some backers for the act men here... Uh, like one of my first live streams was because Nicholas Diorio now publicly likes me, but like in private, I know he hates me. But like back in the day, he had me. He well, uh, in my opinion. Oh, back in the day, yeah. I don't think he liked you, but you were also you also just found another fat guy to, with, yeah. that was naked and pretended they but were. Nick's they look news. identical. <laughs> so the actman, uh, Diorio, like is infamous for wearing a very big green shirt to VidCon. Um, a couple years ago. And I found this naked man jerking off, white, round, <laughs> in a green shirt. And I went live and claimed that I had Nicholas Diorio's lives or um, uh, nudes. And I. F- that yeah. was the first video yeah. I've seen of Salvo. Wow. That was the first yeah, time and I it fooled him. a lot of people. It fooled a lot of people. And I. Well, you censored his wiener, but you made it so big on this new guy. You were like, Nick's cock is messy. <laughs> you he's fucking, like, you the whole time the he's fake like, cock yeah, for Yeah, I, I made him like, I made, <laughs> I did. made him look very good. Like this cock was the biggest cock you've ever seen. <laughs> Dude, it was so dumb. <laughs> but it was yeah, so ahead. dumb. And, no, go on. Okay, yeah, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm saying like, you know, you on one end you got the the problem with the fucking internet and YouTube having to monitor or uh, like manage like policing everything. Is he got one guy like Salvo who, after people realize he's joking, you know, everyone wants to get on the joke. It's fun, right? And then you go and you got Quantum on the same platform, who's literally just the most homophobic he's person. Just, he's just I've the ever worst. Seen. 
Dude, yeah, yeah he's a fucking awful. And, and both are kind of, uh, so you they're, got they're one both guy lumped I feel together. like getting hurt. Yeah, they're both lumped because together. Because of the other. Yeah, and the worst part is, Quantum's not even the one getting fucking hit with anything. You so know? my theory on that is uh, because I took such a hard line stance of like, like I was so confident that after reading the guidelines and going through and I was like, oh, yeah, dude, he's supposed to he's supposed to get fucked because if for filing false copyright strikes, you know, no, no. they say uh, they say every pessimist is a failed idealist. And um, so I, I, I became a pessimist when my channel got demonetized and nothing was done against him. The problem with the, the copyright stuff specifically, and I think you said this in um in your most recent vid, is like YouTube just has such a hands-off approach because of the legality of it. They'd literally rather do fucking nothing. Yep. Like ever. If they don't have to fucking do anything, it's between two creators, they do nothing. Which sucks because for these small guys, you have, <laughs> you have Quantum, who has done some doxing in the past and has called Actman's mom. And uh, to, to dispute the... The copyright claim he makes, you have to put in your legal name. Yep. So that's so that's it, how it does, he uh, that's how it he obtains suck. it for some people. Yeah. So the act, which is like really fucked did. up, that anybody could just anybody could just get your name if they really wanted yeah, to. Yeah. So unless you're big enough to have like a fucking PO box and like have an LLC and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, they could just fucking. That's get crazy. Your info. So the act, man. Do you have any regret about how you handled anything? Like now being like a few months out. I mean, things happen for a reason, and they go, like, there's always a reason behind it. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think I was, I just spent too much time on Twitter. I was, like, kind of addicted to it, in a sense. Well, this was a, you're, you're a huge YouTuber, right? You got, like, three, four million subs? Oh, no, not that this many. Your first, one point, one was point this your six. first drama? Oh, you got 1.6. Yeah. Well, you get you pull hella views, bro. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Do you um? Yes. This was this your first time like in a drama where you are getting a bunch of shit on Twitter. Uh there was there's another one where people pulled up like five year old tweets, but uh, it was I made a, a video on console oh, that's fan. Just, plays. Everyone has to go through that. <laughs> no, no, no. But this is like <laughs> the f yeah everyone goes through that. But this was the first time I made a video on console fanboys. It was console fanboys are cringe that I mostly made fun of the PlayStation fanboys because on Twitter, the, yeah. they're the absolute worst. And coincidentally, after that video, like two days later, I started seeing <laughs> people from the PlayStation fanboy community like posting this. this. I knew that guy was a piece of shit. This screen, yeah, the screenshot of like eight, eight or so tweets from 2017, you know, where I like I said uh, I typed the N word uh, in one tweet. Like I was referencing, so I was referencing dumb. the word, but I just typed it out. You know what I mean? Uh, dude, dude, do you know what's dumb is I feel like if anyone was just around when iDubs made that Tana Mojo video, literally everybody back then was saying it to be fucking cool. That's that's you know? when it when it happened. I was like, yeah, yeah, and like now, like all this fucking hindsight later, where it's like you know we've it's become a little more politically correct in that space. Now it's like uh, fucking like. The time machine police are coming to get you. Yeah, so, you know? I, I mean, it's like, it, it, if you looked at the tweets that they were canceling me for, anytime I used a slur, it was never directed at a real person. Or it was directed at, like, a fictional character. Like, I called, um, I called, uh, you know, you know the... Pikachu? No, 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 no. It's yeah, Pikachu. Captain Planet. Remember the show Captain Planet? <laughs> Yeah, 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 and they had he called Captain Planet the N word. No, 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 <laughs> no, <laughs> what? no. I called uh, I called the guy who has the power of heart. I called him I called him an F slur. Oh, okay. so what's his like, power though? I, I uh, heart. Yeah, no, okay. The power well, of that love. is yeah. kind of like of F slur ish. Heart. It's a little gay, but I mean that's not. There's nothing well, well, wrong with like, love. Is there yeah. any limit to his love, or it's like he'll he'll love anybody? You know what I mean? I mean that is kind of like that's borderline. <laughs> that, that is technically that's gay. That's technically, that gay. technically gay. <laughs> yeah. Which we can't say the but, um, we can't say that f slur anymore. You know. So you know, and I, and I go one step further. I spell out the word gay now, so I do g a y. So every time I refer to a gay man, I do a g a y man. You know, just to cover my ass there. Gay wire. Dude, because you can get demonetized for saying gay, which isn't even like. This is fucking You're insane. gay, right, well, the Act Man? You're a gay man? 
You're not no. a gay man. Okay. No. No, he's just incredibly. He's just incredibly. How tall are you? <laughs> six. Foot. You're six foot, and you work out. Yeah. Really, you look massive. Yeah. I yeah. figured if you went to one of those iDubs boxing matches, they'd have to like put you up against a Harley from. It's Epic his Meal face. Dodgers. You have like no, a I'm... long, sharp, strong face that like makes you look you tall. You do have yeah, the yeah, yeah. Chad face. <laughs> You have the fucking Chad meme. <laughs> Thank you. I have the jaw. Yeah. Yeah, you You're do, hot, dude. dude. Oh. You, yeah, you don't I'm have like the leafy. By the minute. <laughs> I got like the leafy chin. That's why I have to grow the beard because it's it, Willie. It, like, never it's admit just, to uh, having a soft chin. Oh, you cannot admit that. You have to just hide it. I, I sometimes you just gotta know your weaknesses, though. That's yeah, why true. we bring around. That's why we bring big chins <laughs> to compensate. That's um. That's uh. Peter Dinklage in Game of Thrones. Wear, wear your flaws as an chin? armor, and then they can never hurt you. That's cope. Oh, yeah. I'll wear my chin is a... That's, that's cope, cope that is dude. Cope. That's the yeah. biggest... <laughs> it's easy to say that when you're a little person. It's not cope. No, it's, it's not. Advice. It's like... It is good <laughs> no, advice. It's not. Small no, chins it's not. Are not. What else are you going to do? What Listen, else are you going to do? Difference. Just be like... We bully no. off the biggest, the biggest cyber bully on the internet because of his chin. I think I'm just no. saying it's No, see, here's the thing. It's There's a difference of Peter Dinklage coping because he's a little person. He has to say that because you can't hide being a little person. That is what it well, is. Well, that's, that's Tyrion. You're not, You're a little... You're no, shorter than King, I'm dude. Not, you're probably shorter I'm than real, Peter I'm tall. It's Tyrion Lannister in Game of Thrones. Is, I but here's the thing. They wouldn't. They wrote that because it was a little person playing. It. Yeah, Peter Tinklage is just a really good actor. <laughs> yeah, really tall in real life. See, it, see, it, it's it's you can hide a weak chin. Never admit to having a weak chin, Willie. Like do whatever you can. Unfortunately, I'm hiding it as best as I can. Look, like, Keen's guy actually got it. He does. That's why chin. his beard is so long. He, he's just grown it into a triangle. It's actually <laughs> he has to do so, like. I think when he's acting like it. Don't you think part of that's kind of fucking like lame? Like he's just being oh, that insecure. It's so insecure. Grow, like it's so insecure. Beard. And it's like if he keeps acting like an asshole live on the Keemstar show, I'm going to take scissors and cut that whole beard off. Just one little <laughs> snip and that beard's on the good, floor. Good. Have you been uh have you guys been aware of the of the red pill research going around? I haven't. Is that a thing? Red pill research. So like there's the red pill and there you know how there's the the blue pill's been a meme and then there's like the red pill where it's like oh like the Andrew Tate yeah but like uh well yeah the Andrew Tate but he's been banned off and then like I feel like it was just Ben Shapiro for like ever and the Stephen whatever Crowder. his name is Crowder the, the guy who was the voice actor in the Arthur show Stephen Crowder whatever Stephen Stephen Crowder yeah yeah I did not know that that Arthur. is so you know that? really yeah he voice acted in the <laughs> what cartoon the fuck? Arthur. <laughs> Swear to fucking you know what's God, like so it's funny crazy. about yeah. the, <laughs> it's a small world. You know what's so funny about those red pilled guys? It's like Ben Shapiro. It's like wants to talk about being red pilled, right? About like just like saying whatever uh -huh. you know and doing whatever, and then it's always coming from a guy like Ben Shapiro who's so squeaky, so small, so smooth, so hairless, and then the other guy who's acting in a in a, a children's cartoon show. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. We we need yeah. a different dude, dude. And the worst is those two are. Ben Shapiro's offended by fucking everything. Right. Like, if they have like a gay character kiss in Star Wars, gay people, we brought up gay people a lot. I swear we just we love just because we love you guys. If they show if there's a gay person that kisses in Star Wars, Ben Shapiro is the first one to cry about it. It's a grift on both sides once you once you get far enough into it. I think the longer you, the longer those people kind of do those political commentaries, the long the the more they realize I've got to make sure my audience is pissed off about something. Because that's yeah, politics is team sports. Yeah, dude. I mean it's kind of it's kind of similar for video game reviews in a sense, but at, at, like I always try to balance it out, where I always try to find some good. How's it similar for video games? Team Xbox. For video games? No, I'm I'm saying people that get stuck in making negative content, and that's like all oh, they make. Oh yeah. So they can't yeah. like they don't do like oh this game is awesome. It's always like fuck this game, fuck this game. Wow, this sucks, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, what I wanted to talk about with the recent, uh, like, red pill research was, like, all these guys like Sneeko and then they're, like, fresh and mm. fit. Uh, they've kind of come back and, like, Andrew Tate. But the, the angle, instead of just being, like, politically based, it's just, like, I want to have eight <laughs> wives that do everything for me and I don't have to talk to them. And, and they they're right, to leave too. The house. And like, they're right oh. about it, too. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
we will do either. That's the correct about. take. It's like, okay, listen. I want eight wives. <laughs> well, you want eight I, wives? Dude, dude, one girlfriend's enough for me, all right? I love her to death, but I couldn't handle another. That's right? a good point. Okay, so that's a good yeah. point, right? It's I'm happily married, but like on one, on one hand, if I could have eight of my wives like cloned in one aspect that would be amazing right eight beautiful women walking around but then i think about it i'm like i'm like my wife gets sick of me so easily my wife is like thinks i'm the biggest idiot of all time imagine eight (laughs) of my wives no not you you look great right now listen my (laughs) really because (laughs) 30 minutes before like setting this show up and I'm carrying my computer and I'm carrying my camera. I'm carrying my (laughs) audio mixer into the bathroom. And every time I pass the kitchen where she stays, you know, making me a five course meal, she's rolling her eyes at me (laughs) and like she's shaking her head in disgust. Imagine eight of those of eight beautiful women, model like slender bodies. Great to look at, but eight women teaming up on me to roll their eyes at me. Did your did your wife just walk in the room? With that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were shilling for her. Listen, no, Good hey, 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 she's the best, but but she gets very annoyed at me, rightfully so, because I'm I'm an idiotic child. Having eight of them, it's like no way these fresh and fit guys, right, really want eight wives or twelve wives. No, there's, there's no, no way. fucking way. Not only that, it's just like completely unreasonable for them to it's like dude i guarantee none of these guys have had one girlfriend for longer than like right. fucking six right months. yeah and they act like they can have eight and have this whole like quorum of women and they're like yeah you know what all we do we've just been hustling we've just been getting all you do is upload youtube videos <laughs> where you talk about how you want to have eight wives and they're manifesting eight wives just on youtube over and over and it's working the, the, they're getting the, the, i don't know if they'll get the wives but they're getting the money they think it's like they want to be like, I don't know, R. Kelly or something where they just have like eight girls just locked up in yes. their house. You know what That's I mean? That's the mindset. It, and, <laughs> and they don't question the man yeah. at all ever. Yeah. That's their angle is, yeah, is they no, want like a wife for each room that they can just go and like yell at and take their frustrations out on them and then use for sexual gratification. That's what they want. They want sex slaves. They literally want sex slaves. Yep. They want a rich wife. That, they want a rich wife that won't argue back and doesn't want to leave the house because they're afraid they'll cheat on them. So I'm like, dude, the point. I can't imagine you getting a woman to marry you because of your money and then you not let her use that money. Right. She has to just stay at home right. all fucking day. Like I don't. That's not a trade off. I think would ever happen. And it's like the red pill research. Yeah, the red pill research. Obviously, yeah. these guys got like insanely popular. Who is buying into this? Like who like it has to be children. Uh, dude, I don't know. Part of it part of it is just me thinking like, yeah, it's probably like in part children, but they're also live streamers. I see them get donated a lot of money. That's, That's obviously not a kid, you know. Um mm. I think part of it's just because like uh I don't know. Maybe there's just a lot of guys that just had like a bad breakup and the girlfriend cheated on them, and they're like, "I need to be verified. I need to. I need someone to fill my worldview." I need like, eight women now. Yeah, yeah. The only way I can fix this is if I find one that so, stays at home. Doesn't ever. Want why to did like again. Sneeko get banned, but like Fresh and Fit didn't? It's like what made Sneak? Sneeko's not banned, is he? He just got uh, he it. got a couple strikes. And then I know he's just deleting his streams now afterwards and just, like, re-uploading them on, like, um, not Vimeo, but whatever uh, the other one is. Rumble. So he's not banned. Uh, I th- he's not banned. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, I don't think so. He got banned off Twitter, banned though. Off Twitter. Gee. Twitter's so weird, man. Yeah, everyone yeah, gets banned Yeah, but, like, they allow, Twitter. like, the craziest shit to be there. But then, like, if someone's pushing the limits too hard, gotta go. If someone if someone is too popular in pushing the yeah. limits, if someone's too popular and they're pushing the limits, did you guys see those memes when Andrew Tate was getting kicked off of like everything? My favorite one was uh, breaking news: Andrew Tate has officially been banned from Club Penguin. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he got banned from Valorant. <laughs> Are you serious? I swear to what God, I saw him IP get banned ban from him Valorant. or something. He doesn't even he doesn't even fucking play video games, bro. So I don't even know how that works. That's it's just, just the like publicity like, stunt. On this too. It's just the publicity stunt for them. Yeah, guys, <laughs> we banned we banned Andrew Tate too. Dude, not even Donald Trump's banned from Valorant, bro. Like, no, I don't True. know anybody like 
Who's who's somebody that's been banned from a game they don't even play before? He's got that's a badge of guy. honor. He's got to like wear that as a badge of honor. Like, yeah. That's impressive. First guy to get banned from a video game without playing yeah. it. <laughs> that's my new goal. Do we reveal the setups to each other? I do. I would love to what, see the act men the like all right. wet and shiny and slimy. Well, um, sorry to disappoint. Huh? Oh. Act man, wait a minute, wait a minute. Reveal yourself. It's not. Reveal wait yourself. A minute. It's not <laughs> quite. <laughs> it's not quite. Are you bathing with? The, Reveal are you yourself. With the shirt on? <coughs> uh, no. I, I have to. <laughs> I have to stream OBS. Oh my god. How that angle How is about beautiful. this angle? What do you think, Act Man? Have you ever seen a man like this? Uh. Dude, you look so good. I. I understand why your wife keeps coming. Oh in the my room, god, yeah. Willie! Really, really my nice. wife is literally just poking her head in here and just licking her lips. Looking at me, and she wants. She says, "Wrap it up, Daddy. <laughs> I want a piece of that." I'm, I'm licking my lips too. I can't stay away, Salva. Oh, Hex Hexman's got the bath no. towel on. And yeah, is that here, is that your head robe? No, no. This is my <laughs> girlfriend's. This is this is a turbo twisty. <laughs> Wait, nice, stand nice. up. Nice. Oh, wait. Yes, act man. Oh. There it is. I, oh, dude, he he's just pretty just hairless, too. Butt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, my legs are pretty... My legs are pretty hairy. Oh, he, do, he does have some hair on his legs. No, I'm not like Salvo. Have you ever grown... I got the happy trail, though. Yeah, but it looks like it fades off. Are you just, like, uh, clean-shaven down there? I... I he must really like his lady. You must have not been together that long with your lady if, if you're still doing that shit. After a while, you're just like, hey, Black Forest so, Ham, you know? So let's do a new segment here, okay? And let's start off Act Men, right? Uh -huh. uh, Willie kind of hinted at it, but you didn't give a straight answer. Do you keep yourself groomed, uh, uh, baby smooth down there, waxed, manscaped, or just let it go? But wait, 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 uh, wait, wait, really wait, 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 wait. Are Let's you trying guess. to get a Manscaped sponsorship? Let's this would guess, be the time. Willie. What's your guess about the act, man? All right, he's either he's either really really Irish and his for his happy trail to fade off into no hair. All right, or <laughs> I think he's I think he's groundskeeping over there. I think he's okay. trimming the hedges. Uh, I think he, he might. He's still trying to impress his lady. I don't know how long they've been together, but I would guess not that long if they're still uh, cleaning up that office. Two and a half months. Okay. Oh, I'm done, Okay, that's dude. big. That's a good hint. What's the shaving situation? Shaved or not shaved? Well, what do you think, Salvo? I think, I think normally, uh, the act men, you let it go where your hair is so long it almost covers your slong, but I think because you're in a new relationship, I think, I think you keep it... Too manicured, you know what I mean. I think you keep it to the point where it's almost like like a design. Yeah, do you have yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, the answer is somewhere in between. Oh, at, at least, oh, dude! So you are like a little freak Irish man, I, with like the hair going away in patches. I I, I shave like every couple of weeks. Uh huh. So I still I I trim it up, but I'm not like a fucking like I'm not a sculptor, you know. Salvo, I got some questions yeah. about you, honestly. Uh, I look at you. You're the hairiest man I've ever seen <laughs> in you. my whole life. Thank you. And uh, I actually got a hairy sponsor again, so I, I might just have the mail <laughs> yeah, you this perfect. The product I need it. To, to what, help handle what's, the, what's going on in that tub. What's the armpit situation? Hmm? Oh, yeah, we rep. I actually, we rep the I've shaved my armpits twice, like completely shaved it. It is a totally Why different feeling. Why do you feeling. do that? I don't know. Have you guys? Dude, it, it kind of chafes a little bit. So Why? I've done it a few times because eventually it grows so long, it blocks the deodorant. Yeah, exactly. So then you're just Dude, super just, fucking that's smelly. Not true. <laughs> There's like a, while, a week where I smell like Campbell's chicken noodle soup and finally I go, I just got to, I just got to trim the <laughs> That's the not pits, true. Man. I got to bring them down. You know what? No, no, I'm not legit. letting you use that. Actman, no, back me up. I'm not letting That's you legit. use that. Actman, is that really what it is? Uh, it's, uh, I mean, when it grows out super long, honestly, yeah. That's so not true. Look, dude, we have we have carpets. Like this is like a thing. This is a, this a is strip. this is like a quarter of what it gets so to when it's full. Mine grown. gets so big when I close my what arms. What do you mean full grown? The <laughs> yeah, the no. me too, dude. So you're. Yeah, no. Yeah, it is, happened. I shaved this like months ago, okay? This is So 
This will Salvo, come back your hair, and it'll be like no out way. here. So you're telling me your armpit. Yeah. Salvo, your hair is just dispersed. No way. You're, ta- you're lying. Ours you're telling me your armpit. Ours you're telling me your armpit just not. ultimately will grow and grow and grow. I've never shaved anything ever. Dude, I, if yep. I never shaved in my whole life, no, it would be touching my toes. That is the biggest awesome. fucking lie ever. Will. I'm not even joking. No I'm, I'm dead serious. Well, it, it stops growing for me, but when I do close it, it like... <laughs> It'll come out the no, sides. Mine you know? is coming out inches. When I close my arm, mine, if I let it run, mine comes out inches from my, you see it a little bit here, yeah. but it will go where it comes out front and back far as fuck. Honestly. Yeah, no, see, I'm good. I think, I think I tried sa- shaving it because I think I would like lift, I would be wearing tank tops and I'd lift my arms up or stretch on a stream and people. Th- You're just trying yeah, to flex Yeah, he keeps putting his arms up well. and flexing those hot muscles. He's like, oh, yeah, We're yeah, talking we're about all the pits. gamers here. <laughs> we're all gamers here. <laughs> so, the no, smallest gamers. I, so I tried shaving them after like I was getting all these comments on Twitch or uh, YouTube or wherever I was streaming. And I was like, you know what? I, wa- I wonder what it feels like to shave my armpits. Yeah. And, uh, it's fucking weird. It is weird. It's weird for like a, a day. Your armpits can get cold. It's yeah. a thing. And if you use the wrong deodorant, oh, that shit burns. Uh-huh. If you do that afterwards. Uh-huh. See, mm-hmm. I let my groin you know, area will grow and grow and grow for literally months until the point where it's like it's sticking through my shorts. So I am that type of guy. Thank you for putting your leg up here, the act man. Your shorts? My or shorts. Your like yeah. I... I'm trying my yeah. best. <laughs> I like your legs. I mean, you got like a, a smoking body, the act man. I'm like, really though. Yeah, you. Oh, you thank do you. Do have a good one, dude. One of these days we'll have to. So you couldn't get in the tub because of a spe- your your setup reason, right? Internet or something. Yeah, my service will fuck. I up think that's a lie. In very random spots. No, no. Because I have a direct. He, he was devoted to getting the tub before he even said anything. He's like, "Oh, by the way, I got this oh, tub. I'm wow. ready to get in. Yeah. He's gonna flex on us." Well, I I have a direct setup here. So, fun fact about this house that I'm in: uh, my brother used to live here, and he had like his office, but his office was upstairs. The service was so bad, we had to run a like 30 foot Ethernet cable <laughs> all through the house to give it a direct setup because he just wasn't getting correct service up there that's some og xbox <laughs> live dude. yeah i remember running yeah. these cables all through the fucking house dude playing so calm on the ps2 Re- real quick i do have a question on sure. your your body because you said you were you got a shaving situation where you let it you let it run until it's coming out of your shorts <laughs> apparently do you when you shave do you also like shave out your legs a little bit too so it's not yeah. just an abrupt yeah yeah, yeah. Hairlessness yeah. so it's you? like i let my pubes grow so it's long so long right i kind of like the look i kind of like being like uncivilized a little bit um until the point where yeah, it's like yeah. i have to do rugged. it rugged right so then like i'll shave like like from here right all the way Homeless, up yeah. and then really i try not to take the pubes too short just because i hate that burn um so that's really like my thing what kind of razors are you guys using? Where oh, your I don't, burn? I don't dry shave. I don't use uh, shaving cream. I don't use, like some bullshit cheap electric junk. Oh, so yeah, you aren't even trying then. No, yeah. I, I just want to say, Salvo, I really like the speedo. Thank you. You know, I really wanted to do completely naked and then try to get like enough bubbles to really just like cover up here, but I couldn't give like a, I couldn't f- gather up enough bubbles and. I can't get the bubble situation figured out either. We gotta like order some special I think we Amazon do. product. So that's a legit yeah, this speedo is a legit here. Speedo. This is a speedo. It looks good. Thank you. you. Look good, you know, man. and I got this speedo. I think when I was like, uh, uh, like younger, and I'm really stretching it to the fucking limits here. <laughs> I'm really pushing it to its seams here. Um, and I want your guys' opinion on something while we're on the. Uh, uh, the whole manscape topic, right? So straight up, I learned something mm-hmm. new about Keemstar over the weekend. Do you guys all know who Keemstar is? Um, no, you didn't see him in a, a speedo. Did no, you? but I learned something even worse. He was not. Oh, he boy. was nonchalantly telling me, and this was the first time I ever hearing of a man do this. But he uses Nair, the hair removal lotion Nair, around his asshole. So when he wipes and poops it's a lot cleaner this is a true story he's no, lying no. he's just well no he's lying he's just no. getting pegged 
He's just getting pegged That's by what Brandy. it is, though. <laughs> yes. That's the only reason. Yes. He's not fucking... Keem, Keem's not worried about... Keem's has, has had the dirtiest ass I've ever yes. seen just by looking at him. You're I have telling yet me to see his he ass. He magically starts using this cream right when he starts right. meeting this girl. And because now he's worried about his butthole. Right. You know, I don't believe him. I, I think that he is getting pegged because sometimes in the morning when I wake up and I go in the... Because he, Your water is so green, by I you. have a so sewage green, issue here that I have yet to figure out. Okay, so I. That's so. No, it's not Ackman. It's not soap. This is oh, this is green goo. I'm I'm sitting in goo. Goo. But goo. I think he's also getting pegged, and because I see his ass crack sometimes, like in the morning, and it is very smooth, very very uh-huh. smooth. Do you live what with him? What is the situation where in the morning you're you're showing each other you're, you're <laughs> yeah, showering together about to the situation? Water? Is this like an environment thing? <laughs> so so it's nothing that homoerotic, but him and Brantley sleep in the family room. They have a bed in the family room, and then I sleep in the guest room when I'm up there. And so you're just like a cock just watching everything. <laughs> I hear everything. I literally hear everything. So so like sometimes I walk out in the morning and Keem's still passed out and he sleeps on his belly and his underwear are like around his ankles. So it's like I see his whole ass, his whole ass sometimes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's uh. This is hmm. okay. Uh, I don't re- I don't really know where to take this. Um. <laughs> Oh, the act man. Yeah, next time that happens, getting, take pictures. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I take will, pictures I will. next time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. We could get all. We could get just like a compilation of every creator's ass. Muda has our asses. I'm sure he has his act own man. ass. Act man, you want to see my arch? Your yeah. arch. What's your arch? What's arch an arch? The act man. <laughs> Are you what? <laughs> put put back on the headphones. <laughs> I think he's. Oh, for your ass. Okay, I thought he was oh. going to do something crazy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Why does your ass look so big? <laughs> you got like a fisheye lens, dude. It literally grew it's, it's, like the Grinch's heart, like three times the size, bro. I've I've never felt so gay. <laughs> Would you take that doggy uh, style? You know... <laughs> you need the cream. Before I made Actman speechless. He literally doesn't know what to say after after my seeing my arch. That's not the first time. The, we've got a clean boy. All he does is like to play some games with the boys, and now you're making it a whole. You want him playing I, with your joystick? It's like you're <laughs> press my B direction. button. It seems like hey, you could use a turbo twisty for for your head right now after sticking it in the water, and now you got to put the headphones yeah. on. <laughs> Turbo Twisty would have taken care of that. Is that what that's called? There it is. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Oh, the act, Tur- uh, Turbo oh, the Twist. Act How did you get your name, the Act Man? Uh, it's that's, that's really a great question. It's part of my last name, but um, I originally wanted to do like a movie review channel with my two brothers, and we were going to be the Act Men. Ah. But uh, they like they were busy working or. You know, one of my brothers lives all the way across the state, so it's like, well, I'm I'm flying solo. It's gonna be the act man. Gotcha. I feel like you totally could do movies if you wanted to, with like your style of, of how you go about shit. I wanted to do a 300 review where I would uh, green screen myself in, and, you know, in like those scenes where they're all like, yeah. did it, did it, did it, did. but I'd, yeah, I'd yeah, have yeah. to actually get like really fit. Like, no, you're fit, dude. Dude, yeah, but, I feel like no, but this you right want. here, this right here, see, it's a little bit of yeah, a. Yeah, I mean, look, you aren't you aren't perfect, but for the standards of our community, just being able to like, uh, wow, yeah, I He's mean, your sexy. arms look good though. I did work out yeah. yesterday. Like, like I'm kind of I'm kind of a, a thin boy, but I oh shit oh god you okay Will? Ow. I still got like. I still got like the pudgy belly from like drinking the brewskis, yeah. you know. From dr- yeah, it's all from the brewskis. If I toned down on it's those, all the bud lattes and, and bush lights. You know, bud lattes, I like that. PBRs. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So my yeah, last her- name is Van Act. Van Act. That seems like like you had some racist, like racist. Uh, yeah, ancestors. ancestors. Yeah. Was Quantum onto something yeah. when he was calling you the uh, Van Act, dude? That's the, scary. Uh, the racist word. That's scary. <laughs> it's Dutch. I'm getting, Salvo, how often 
Because I was in a couple calls where it was Keem, me, and Actman. And uh, every, every single call I was in, at several points, Keem would bring up Ethan somehow. Yeah, he would. Like, he would. Just, like, <laughs> fucking bitch about him. How often in your everyday when you see Keem, is he just randomly like just go on a... You're like, hey, yeah, the weather's nice. Yeah, I mean... Me and the wife, we went to, a, you know, the zoo or whatever. How often does he randomly go like, oh, you know what I fucking hate about, you know, the so fucking I zoo? Think- Ethan Klein. <laughs> right. I think whenever there's an opportunity, whenever he can make a connection back to Ethan, in his head, if it makes sense, he will always go for it. He will always never miss an opportunity to shit on Ethan. <laughs> and that's not ironic. It's, it's, it's he lives. He he live dies and breathes hating Ethan Klein. It's honestly respect. I'm kind of excited for like another forty years to pass and them both be like in wheelchairs. Yeah, or yes. some shit. Yeah. Then we'll do. Then we'll do like bitching. senior creator clash. Yeah, dude. Because here's what's fucking hilarious. Bingo. This you the internet shit. We haven't seen this, but at some point, creators will have kids that will come up and become stars of their own, and then beef with their parents. And that's going to be the best drama ever. Yeah, it's, the best years I, of drama I mean, keeps, are just getting ahead of us. Quantum's kid's going to grow up, be a fan of the act, man, and then be like, my dad is fucked up. <laughs> and then there will be like a, a war in the house where a murder may take place. I don't know. Keem actively says when one of Ethan's kids are of oh, age, God. he wants to box him. Like he it's actually says far. that online. He wants to box Ethan's kid. You know what's funny though is when, <laughs> yeah. when I was uh, DMing Ethan, he actually said something. I, I mentioned I was like, yeah, I talked to Keemstar too, and um, I said uh, something along the lines of, I hope one day you guys can bury the hatchet. And and he said something nice about Keemstar. He said one nice thing about him. No. Yeah. Yeah. What did he say? What did he say? He's like he said. Oh, if it's secret, it wasn't that nice. No, he said. Yeah, Kim's really good about helping out other creators, like in situations oh, he is like very this. Good at that. Yeah. So he said something nice about him. Yeah, that is nice. And Kim would have would never say anything nice about. <laughs> that's him. So that's how it to starts, Ethan man. I mean, you know, you just. But to be fair, you know, Ethan invited Kim on the podcast and shit on him in the comments. So I get Wait, it. Ethan invited I- <laughs> Kim on the podcast. Like and did years Keem ago, go? I mean, this is how it all started. Oh no, no, no. no. you mean wait? All right, I've heard this fucking wait. shit, dude. Let's not read it. Everyone's heard Keem bitch about how he got invited <laughs> on and was mad because the camera angle made him look fat <laughs> or whatever. It's so funny. It's so funny. Was the I camera angle like down here, just like <laughs> the camera angle was so low, so it's just Keem looking fucking huge. And I and Keem admits that he lost weight because of Ethan Klein because he, he wanted to spite Net Ethan positive. Klein, which Net I get. Positive. Yeah. 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 Does Ethan, I, it, I, I want you to know, when you did talk to Ethan, did he bitch about Keem as much as Keem be- bitches about Ethan? Nah, but it was just in DM. So um, <laughs> Ethan, Ethan followed me after the drama happened, and I was going to go on his podcast for, I think, like a short segment. I think at that time, though, I had I had gone on uh, Asmongold's. I had gone and Philip DeFranco and I talked to a bunch of people and I was kind of like, I need to just like take space away from this because I might be making my situation worse by doing all these things. So I actually yeah. told Ethan, I was like, yeah, man, I just, I can't really do it right now. Um, what was the worst podcast or show who you uh, went on? Yeah, like what the was worst, the one where it's like, this is the worst was... one you've ever been on or is this the best one? Besides no, this one, no. besides this well, one. Well, I did, I did the Some Ordinary <laughs> podcast as well. That was really good. I've never really done. Oh yeah, Muda sucks, bro. Can you believe <laughs> that guy? I've never really done bad podcasts. I, I usually pick my, uh, m- my battles how pretty about, well. How about, how about RFC After Hours? Yeah, they were all fun. Yeah, but like. Yeah, but it's like, you know, Augie's kind of like immature well, he's and 20. like he's super. <laughs> yeah, he's not funny, us, right? <laughs> we're, we're really, we're really mature compared to Augie. Okay, wait, we, hold, none hold of us have a shirt on. on. Okay, you're in a Speedo. So you're in a Speedo. <laughs> hold on a minute. So the act man, you kind of got the impression that like Augie was kind of like unprofessional and like not prepared. No, it right? was more so. You got the impression so that like Augie he's younger. kills kittens. No, more more so like he's and buries them in his yard. He's younger. He's just out of high school, and he's still like he's still like into drama. Like he's into it like a high schooler, but he's he's using yeah. talents to actually produce like entertainment. I was beefing with Willie oh. when we first met because mm-hmm. I, I like he came in 
It was like, what's we their evidence? Fucking so annoying each yeah. other. It was the worst fucking thing. Well, dude. I was going through some shit, and <laughs> and then, yeah. <laughs> so speaking of the uh, the drama, you know, Tommy C. Woof, right? <laughs> Tommy, <laughs> Sal was just trying to instigate so fucking. Not hard. really. I mean, uh, I, like, I tried. What about J Station? No, or no, they made a little meme <laughs> about it. I actually messaged J Station too. Yeah. Uh, well, well, he and I messaged back after he did that little thing, and it was, it was again, it was the same thing. Like, um, I, I got, I got really pissed off, um, because I really wasn't in the best place mentally. If you can imagine losing your entire livelihood, and you know. No, you don't. Yeah, you don't need to explain it. To yeah, us, you? but um. So I saw that shit and I got really pissed because it's like, okay, now now people are doc or or they're joking about it. This is like my family, you know. It's it's and, and it seems like YouTube doesn't <laughs> yeah, give a yeah. fuck. And so I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna fuck you. I got I got really pissed. I was like, I'm gonna I'm yeah. gonna try and get you a strike. And then a few hours later, I was like, yeah, nah. I just, what am I doing? You know, why am yeah, I doing this? That that is um. That is the I thing. Like that it was one of the funniest videos I've ever seen. That did crack me the fuck up. The J we tried to get J Station in the tub, but he's been banned from Twitter. The thing that really surprised me the most out of all of this is that I actually got some wisdom from J Station that I just was like not expecting at all. Because initially, like, what was he? It? He was seeming pretty unhinged, and he was like against me, and he was tweeting all this shit out. He was like one of the only people on Quantum's side, kind of. But um, okay. what what you know, because he was banned from YouTube and so he went through something similar where he lost everything. And so what he what he said to me was like, you know, you might have thought it was a joke, but how do you know people at YouTube looked at it that way? And and that was the moment where I was like, yeah, I mean, I guess if they were really dissolved from all the context, they, they would just see it in a vacuum and so I was like, yeah, you know, I, I should change my tone a little bit towards YouTube. So J Station is one of the really pillars in you nope. kind of like changing your nope. whole mindset. J Station is Actually, your hero. Nope, no. <laughs> he said he said one thing that stuck with me and that's it. Okay. See, I like to I like to give credit okay. to things, even if I like really, really don't like them overall. Who is your most hated person right now? I don't. And then say some, something nice about them. I don't really hate many people. Cause I, I don't like keep right. that. There's that one creator that you're, well, so I don't hate creators either, right? I, I make my video and then when you're done, you're I hate, I hate a lot done, of creators. Right? It's just like at the end of the day, we're just talking about, we're talking shit and that's kind of yeah. it, right? But is there one person, like the one person that I fucking always, always rubbed me wrong was Toddy Westbrook, you know, because she went ahead she went ahead and did the James Charles like super dirty where she was she got paranoid that James Charles talked to another drama channel of uh because she they like had a spat on Instagram because he promoted no her, her that wasn't it yeah yes that, that wasn't was it. 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 Was it. It was no no it. let me finish this no, no. but before you go on a fucking okay. like rant here all right and then she went ahead freaked out and started talking all this shit to other drama channels and then made a video about it to just like blow up okay. like a 40 million view video on a guy who literally listen, didn't do anything. Listen, mm -hmm. I am a fan of James Charles. He's my hall pass. He's got a good butt. We'll um, get him on Tub Club one of these days. You get my hall shot. pass, but you probably also, don't have to yeah. ask him for it. He'll probably just send it to you right away. <laughs> my wife was a huge fan of Tati Westbrook. So I know about Your all wife? that drama. I don't she, know if you should be with her anymore now that you told me that. No, no, no. No, no, she was a big fan of Tati, so I know all about this drama. And Willie, Will, uh, James Charles backstabbed her by promoting Sugar Bear Hair. Okay, they were friends. She, he, he, he was invited to her <laughs> wedding, and he took the knife and stabbed her in the back. Hey, I get a, it. That's a fair. I hate that's creators. a fair thing, but she can't go ahead and then be like. He's manipulating all these straight guys into being gay, which is like the most absurd but he's comment. But uh, of course he's doing that. <laughs> what but do you like, mean? Of say course that like, he's that's doing like this that. bad fucking thing, right? If you could be well, convinced to be gay, you're not straight. That's just it's like it, the Catholic Church has been trying to convince gay guys to be straight, and they can't do it, right? So why can why does that work the other way? Is James Charles just a phenomenon? You know, 
No, because I know I think Tati Westbrook knew that James Charles is like is one of a kind. Like he's got a juicy ass. He's got he's got DSLs, and it's like he can really almost DSLs. turn any straight man gay. Yeah, dick sucking lippers. So he can really turn any. St- he, he can really turn any straight man gay, and Tati was really trying to like make sure that like I have never his seen, power to do that wasn't going to be out there. I've never seen straight guys made the victim more than in that drama. I'm like, how did Tati pull this fucking off? It's like Ben Shapiro's been trying to do this for fucking ages, and now all of a sudden Tati Westbrook is able to do it by just... By just trying to sell vitamins. It's fucking insane. So she's your number one, Willie? I, like number I think one the way she went hate. about that was probably the most like messed up I've seen in any drama. Obviously, if we're going to oh go like God. fucked up shit, like pedo shit. But if we're just talking about YouTube drama, nobody really did get hurt. All right. Then she would be the one where I'm yeah. like, that like personal wrong. vendettas. That's not nice yeah. to do. Yeah, I don't really hate any particular content creators. Yeah, is there one person where you're like, that person did something where I'm like, fuck that guy? It's not really one there's person, gotta be but one. there's more so like quantum. I, I'm, I'm yeah, well, quantum is the obvious answer, but like, but as far as like a type of content that I hate, I, I feel like I always hated the mass of Grand Theft Auto Six videos. Uh, just like the bullshit people had to make up and just shit out their ass in order to make content on a video game that wasn't even announced yet. Like there's channels with I'm so hundreds. glad I'm not a kid anymore, dude. Yeah. When I was a kid, I fell for all the Halo Reach ones just over and over again. Yeah, or uh, the one <laughs> that I fell for, I think this was before YouTube, but I remember someone telling me if you beat uh, Super Smash Brothers on N64... You beat the campaign on very hard difficulty with one life. You would unlock Metal Mario. Fucking lie. Yeah, they fucking don't. It's all it's lies, all dude. lies. I was told you could get recon in Halo 3 by crouch walking around all of Sand Trap. Bro, it never happened. <laughs> You'd fucking accidentally click your stick. It was fucked up. That's why I don't play <laughs> video games. That's why video games to me are banned in my house because they're like, you are they're sinful and they lead to lies. They lead to a loss of time. Well, guys, I think this was a good episode. My bathtub is slowly drained water. I'm just sitting completely wet in an empty fucking Mine tub. Mine is so, so cold. <laughs> I need a cushion next time we fucking do this. And Eggman, if yeah. I, one day we got to get you back, but in the fucking but in tub. The tub. We got to figure it yep. out. We got to wire you No some excuses, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If, hey, I got, uh, it's okay. I got the He's towel good. and I got the bathrobe and I showed you my ass. Next time I'm wearing white underwear when I go to fucking do this for <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so fucking cold in my ass. <laughs> Alright guys, this was an episode of Tub Club. See you next time! Bye, thanks for having me. Splash bye. away, bye! Splash away. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>